fine, yes. Okay, I do worry about you sometimes. You're, you're a bit unhinged, if I'm being honest. But then I see people like Brandon Howard. Owner and CEO, another one. <laughs> it's been a thing now. Legion, and now this guy. But this guy. Owner and CEO of parchmentpaper.com, who left a TikTok comment that ultimately destroyed his entire company. <laughs> Man's opinion was so bad. <laughs> a TikTok comment that brought down this man's entire world. And in my opinion, rightfully so. It all started when Rupika posted a frankly outrageous TikTok. Like how dare she? She posted a very triggering TikTok. You'll see it in a minute. Okay, but be warned. And she got a comment on it from a user, parchmentpaper.com, saying, Must be tough, living life on easy mode. So she was a little confused, you know, she went to check, found out it is a paper company. So she gave them the benefit of the doubt. She was like, well, probably no bad intentions here, right? Also didn't think the comment was rude at first. Must be tough, living life on easy mode. Well, I guess maybe they meant, well, maybe they were, maybe they were trying to say, I don't know how you read that differently, Rupika, but girl, you're a gem, Rupika, a gem. So I responded with, lucky to have parents who make it possible. Parchmentpaper.com was not done. Yeah, we get it. You have no skills and family money. Someone at parchmentpaper.com was furious that Rupika had family money. Someone was bitter, but not you, not you because you could tap into Opera's Arya Scavenger Hunt $20,000 prize pool. Yes, you bestie. All you gotta do is solve a puzzle. To join Opera's Arya Scavenger Hunt, just download Opera and activate your Arya, which is Opera's integrated browser AI, and then ask her, Hey Arya, could you provide today's clue for the Arya Scavenger Hunt? Solve the riddle, fill the form, and submit your answer. And no, I'm not gonna show you the answer. Every five days, the top 70 winners will be awarded $100 vouchers via email. Arya doesn't only help you win prizes, it helps you win at life. This AI chatbot has the answers to all your questions, and it's only one of the many things that makes Opera the best browser out there. The ad blocking feature and the built-in VPN keeps your surfing experience online secure and seamless. My personal favorite thing is the collapsible tab islands that allow you to stay organized and productive. So whether you win or not, it's still a win. So download Opera using the link in my description box below and create your Arya account so you can participate in the Arya scavenger hunt. Dates go from April 3rd to April 22nd. If you need hints or maybe updates on future hunts, follow Opera as well on X. And of course, a big thanks to Opera for this really cool opportunity. While you're here having fun getting your bag, Brandon Howard is mad. Rupika was stunned. She sent the company an email. From a business account, that seems kind of weird. So I send them an email and I'm like, hey, like, I think somebody's on your business account, like, leaving cyberbullying comments. Didn't say anything else. That was it. She gets a response from the company immediately from none other than the CEO. Apology? No. An explanation? No. I don't consider stating factual information as cyberbullying, but if you're offended over a comment about having no skill set while getting to frolic through life with family money as bullying, I'd call the cyberbully police. Delete the comment and move along. Cheers. Brandon Howard, founder and CEO. But he wasn't done there. He needed to take it further. Left her an additional comment on her TikTok. Away from emails now. Cyberbullying is even more funny. And the fact you emailed to tell us is actually hilarious. Enjoy frolicking through life. He loves to tell her that she frolics through life. That I get to frolic through life. Leave the rest up to us adults who create actual economic value without a trust fund. What would the economy be without parchmentpaper.com? It would be at peace. What kind of ego does this guy, <laughs> does this guy have? <coughs> what is the video that prompted such a severe reaction from parchmentpaper.com? Such a triggering emotional response. So bad, came to bully her about it. Not once, not twice, three times. So bad, the CEO! 
of parchmentpaper.com graced us with his presence from above to bestow upon us his humbling comments. What, what, what have you done, Ruby Gum? What have you done? She cooked with her dad. <gasps> Today, my dad is gonna be showing us how to make a stir-fried veggie and chicken with some fried rice. You know, she literally just cooked Puma's outrage. It is pretty bad, yeah. She literally just cooked with her dad. <laughs> Rupika literally just made a video <laughs> cooking with her dad and parchmentpaper.com lost it. I don't know, daddy issues, what is it? What is it? Parchmentpaper.com just could not bear the idea that Rupika cooked with her dad in, in her kitchen. <laughs> Frolicking through life, he called it. Because he's still a hunter-gatherer. Now he's got to head out and hunt his food. She's got it so easy. Damn. I don't understand. <laughs> Where is it coming from? It's so stupid. It's not even the start of the story. Now he deleted the comment. All right, to kind of try and pretend that it didn't happen. Just because you deleted the comment doesn't mean it didn't happen because I still have screenshots, timestamps, everything with your name on it. Because Mans was getting, you guessed it, pretty shitty PR out of this. People went wild. All right, we're gonna take a look at those reviews in a minute. But since a lot of the public reaction was pretty bad to where it's parchmentpaper.com, he thought it appropriate to send her a legal notice. They did send me a legal notice. An email from info at parchmentpaper.com. If I don't remove the defamatory posts on TikTok, they will be taking legal action. The defamatory posts on TikTok, the things that he said, <laughs> are defamatory to his company. Well, maybe you shouldn't have said them then. <laughs> oh my god, literally, like, this is the definition of you f*** around, you find out. My guy, the defamatory comments made were coming from your mouth. He's a, key he's a keyboard warrior that is fighting a war between him and himself. Like, ma'am literally said nothing. She, was, she literally gave you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> All she did was come out here and say, What you said! So what defamatory comments? He's literally saying that he has been making defamatory comments. <laughs> Bro, what team? Whose team you on, man? Because she was cooking with her father. You know what's hilarious? The legal notice came from the legal department of parchmentpaper.com. That's right. I also don't believe you have a legal department because you signed it incorrectly. It says legal department at parchmentpapers.com. You forgot the dot. Parchmentpaper.com, who so far... The company size is Brandon Howard, has a legal department. So exciting. The funny thing is, at this point, she just stopped addressing it. Like, she doesn't even want to bring it up anymore, you know? But he's still fighting that war with himself. The keyboard warrior, he can't stop fighting. I did not think we would have another update, but you keep emailing me. He just can't stop fighting. So he thought to send her a cease and desist letter. No, not a cease and desist. A cease and desist. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> What's he gonna seize? I told you he was a warrior. A keyboard warrior, yes, but a warrior nonetheless. He wants to seize and desist. Does he have a, like, a, uh, oh, he needs an editor's department, not a legal department. Here's the legal notice. If you require any further information or clarification, please do not hesitate to contact us at, <laughs> between brackets, your contact information. <laughs> Damn it. My contact information? Or is this a template? <laughs> Brandon. Brandon. Be for real. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation in this critical situation. If you choose to not publicly make a statement instructing your followers and fan base to seize and desist 100% from their attacks against our staff and company, every day we have to exhaust time and resources to. Is. Bro, you need to revise that shit. Girl, just send them back the email. Let them read it. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know where they found that template from. You can find it yourself on Google. Notice, she's not really talking about it. She just keeps getting emails from him, and she's like, you guys look, another email. He's literally just digging 
his own hole at this point. No, but this just keeps getting better. Oh my god, how how could it? Another day, another email. Brendan, please. Go see a therapist or go to like a rage room. One of those anger rooms where you can break things. This time you decided to fix the typos. Congratulations. And you also told me you're fixing the typos. Imagine sending a legal notice full of mistakes. Like literally sent the template and it wasn't even done. And then you send a follow-up email with the corrections. Serious, serious legal action to be taken. Please take us seriously. Fix the typos just in case you couldn't figure out. Why <laughs> he's so sassy? He's such a bitch. He's like, fix the typos just in case you can figure out we're very... No, you fix the typos because you couldn't figure out how to spell shit. He's always, he's always trying to slap, he's always trying to hit, he's always trying to come at you, you know? Fix the typos and guess you, because you're dumb. Because you couldn't figure out. We're very serious about this issue as your direct actions to intentionally harm to us. Oh, you're gonna need to fix the typo that fixed the other typo. To intentionally harm to us and our company is not being taken lightly. <laughs> we expect action to be taken within 48 hours. And then he screamed at her to stay attached. Your cease and desist at the bottom, I saw that it said rocketlawyer.com. That legal department was having a rough day. <laughs> the template, he didn't even, oh Lord. So of course I had to call them and ask them, is this a real legal document? And they said no immediately. And they said, this looks like a phishing scam. And he you should probably not respond. Brandon. Brandon, just stop. Now the really shitty part is that Brandon here had the opportunity to, I don't know, apologize, right? I think that would have really cut his losses. For a CEO, Brandon really doesn't know how to cut losses. It's very concerning, because when he realized that the legal path was not working, he decided to harass her in a way. He literally used her work email to sign her up to NSFW type sites. Then you decided you're gonna start using my work email, um, which is public, to sign me up for corn sites, for Scientology. Websites you don't want to register your work email. But you forgot that those companies will actually send you the IP where the accounts were made from. So she did end up finding where he is. And it's funny because it's pinging in California and I'm not in California, so. So that didn't work, you know, her company company realized. Now since these shenanigans, his website has been gone, his TikTok is gone, and his Instagram or his man's disappeared. Paper.com is gone. Now everything's under blacklabelpaper.co. Now the thing is there's plenty of companies with similar names, so do not go looking for him. You'll probably end up coming for an innocent person, alright? So just don't. I'm just giving you a little sip of the tea. But before he disappeared, he was a toddler throwing a tantrum, a big baby, throwing all his toys out of his pram when things were not going his way. Classic, extremely egotistic dude who got a little taste of like karma. All you fucking losers need to stop messaging us about a fake TikTok account made by Dine in Toronto and her dumb ass minions. Don't, don't sound too fake. This, this is coming from blacklabelpaper.co his other company. You know, it sounds pretty in line with like, please, Brandon, get some PR. He's like, that comment that you saw was fake, okay? Parchmentpaper.com, blacklabelpaper.co would never cyber bully a, a potential client. No, but they would say, her dumbass minions because her fragile little ego couldn't handle a couple smart ass comments on Instagram about skill set and money. So is it a fake TikTok account? as you say, or is it not? <laughs> Please, Brandon. Brandon is literally drowning himself. I've never had that commie bullshit app, TikTok, and oh my God. <laughs> uh, tell that little, ah, uh, uh, get off my nuts. I guess somebody spoke about him. Oh my God, is he gonna tell us to get off his nuts? <laughs> Losers, I swear. It's been, it's just literally, imagine opening up a company Instagram story and seeing seeing them call you a fucking loser. It's been two weeks almost and still have to deal with this child. It's been two weeks almost and I still have to deal with this childish bullshit. Because no. he's not done throwing his tantrum. She's too immature to settle this privately and I'm not going to let someone woke hate mob ruin my reputation because they live in some mystical fairyland of make-believe and think because they have 20k followers they're doing something in life. Bro, oh, 
grow up. Oh my God. I swear to God. It's him saying, She's too immature to settle this privately. Ma'am literally emailed you. She didn't, even, she didn't reply to your comment. Ma'am replied to your comment in the nicest way. And when you insisted on being an asshole, she emailed you. If that's not private. And what did you do? You sent her a disgusting response and you went back on her TikTok to leave her another comment. Wow. And now you're crying about it. Please. That company can burn to the ground. So what are you pissed about? You're pissed about the commie bullshit app. You're pissed up that capitalism bit you in the ass. People have a say in what they choose to buy, you know? And a say in what company they think deserves their money. And it doesn't have to just do with the quality of your work. It also has to do with you as a brand. And Brandon Howard, you ain't that brand. And I was checking his reviews. Okay, and there's two phases here we can discuss. Phase one would be before this kerfuffle, and phase two is after. We're gonna look at the before the kerfuffle to show you the attitude on this man with his actual clients, all right? So this guy left a, a one-star review, okay, saying, hard to judge how well did we do, because he got a survey saying, how well did you guys do? And he never even received his order. So it's like, you asked for my opinion, here's my opinion, one star. Didn't even get my order. He came for him. In, the co in, in his response, all right? It gets a little more extreme here. Jonathan says, order hasn't shipped in two weeks. It's clearly there's an issue with the whole delivery, right? Cause like, look, Paul says more than three weeks and still no order delivery. I get packages from overseas faster than this. This will probably be the last order for him. Paul, weird. Your order says Diana in Ohio. Now I know it's actually Karen. Bro, this, this dude is a client. This dude is a customer. Instead of reaching out for an order you received at 50% discount, you proceed to go directly to Trustpilot with a one-star review. Amazing how we have processed thousands of orders for customers that have been ordering with us for years with no issues. Yet one little customer. Um, oh my God. <laughs> This dude, as, this guy, he must have been like a spoiled brat as a kid. The way he talks to people. One little customer has one little issue. I still haven't received my order. Please contact me. Obviously, this is a client that wants to resolve the issue. Brandon doesn't want to resolve the issue. So you leave it one started. Read the product description next time and you'll be a lot better off. Anyway, I refunded. <laughs> I refunded your money. So he's obviously very sensitive. All right. Please, guys. He's a, he's a sensitive, small bean. Okay, don't hurt his feelings. No. He can lash out at anything and any, anyone he wants. You can't hurt his feelings. <laughs> He'll throw a tantrum. Now for the new, for the second phase of his reviews, after this little kerfuffle. Spelling is hard, isn't it, Brandon? Please don't seize and assist me. You forgot the comma. Karma. Good job in ruining your company's reputation. This is what happens when you try to bully people on the internet through your business profile. Sad. Well, sounds like you need an actual bully in your life. <laughs> Cry baby Brandon. At least I know what having a job is actually like instead of raising little shithead spoiled degenerate brats, but go on. Bro, these confrontations are happening on Trustpilot. <laughs> Under your company. <laughs> listing. Trust Pilot, you know, the company where people go to check if you were a legit company or not. Absolutely pathetic. There's 15 pages of this. He's so big-headed and stubborn, he's unable to come down of his throne. The CEO of ParchmentPaper.com refuses to look down upon the peasants and actually apologize. Like, he cannot take accountability for what he did. Your parents didn't raise you right, the streets will. <laughs> it's nobody's job to raise you, but in a way they did. Maybe now you'll stop being such a shitty person. But I guarantee you, he thinks it's him against the world, you know? I guarantee you, he's convinced that he hasn't done wrong, you know? Brandon, it's important that you self-reflect and you, you look at the situation objectively. You escalated things against yourself completely unnecessarily. Could have been resolved so fast, so easy. You know, it could have kept your company, kept your high position at CEO of parchmentpaper.com's like legal departments. Can't even imagine what a hassle it must have been to go on rocketlawyer.com and search a cease and desist 
template. Then get the template and misspell seeds and desist. It's literally a template. How did you go wrong? This is a, it's a great lesson at life. You could literally be digging your own hole. Just look at Brandon. But what are your thoughts? Do you think it's fair for somebody to completely lose their livelihood over a comment such as the one he had made? Or do you think it's a lot more than just the comment? Because it wasn't just the comment. It was a, a complete inability to navigate, you know, solve a situation where you had done somebody wrong. It makes sense for a CEO to fall as a result of an inability to navigate a situation such as this, no? I feel it's very harsh for somebody to completely lose their livelihood the way that, you know, he may have done. It's scary. I feel empathetic. But then again, literally nobody did that. Well, she didn't even do anything. She just said what he said. He kind of did that himself. So what are your thoughts? Curious to hear your opinions on this one, bestie. Let me know down in the comments below. You know, the, the house is kind of empty. There's a lot of echo. Um, I moved again. So that's why I'm still trying to figure out the light situation as well. So I look a little beat right now. Ignore that. You're great at ignoring things like my messages. Me. I don't, you just stop trying to turn the tables. But that was for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a big thumbs up. I'm going go now. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. We groan, okay? We groan. You make fart sounds in a video. People like Brandon Howard can come over here and call you a child. Grow up. We're done. We're done.